Today I'm going to show you how to get the Nespli channel on your Wii U menu. That way you don't have to go into the homebrew launcher to, to open up Nespli. If you don't know what Nespli is, it's an app that allows you to download games direct to your Wii U. So you don't have to put them on an SD card and then install them. You can do everything on your Wii U. You can get Wii U games, Wii games, and any virtual console games. Some, some games aren't available there, but if you want to know how to get that, there'll be a video linked below. You can click on that to check it out. But for this tutorial, all you're going to need is your homebrewed Wii U. You're going to have to have Nespli installed already. And then you're going to need to be using WUP Installer GX2. If you followed my tutorial on how to homebrew your Wii U, you should already have that app. But if not, you can get it in the homebrew browser. Or you can Google WUP Installer GX2 and you'll be able to download the app. But anyways, let's get started. So click the link down below for the Nespli channel. And it should take you to this GitHub page. And if you scroll down and click the fourth link below Nespli channel click on it it should download you'll also need uh, an extraction software I use WinRAR and then you can open up that download as well as your SD card that you use to mod your Wii U so now that I have both these up on the root of your SD card make sure you have an install folder if you followed my tutorial on how to install the Nintendo channel you'll already have this but if not just right click create new folder and then call it install I already have one so I can't create another folder with the same name. But once you have that, just go inside. As you can see, I have the Nintendo forwarder here, but this is where we're going to put the Nuspli channel. So on the WinRAR file, just drag this Nuspli file into the install folder. It should be pretty quick, it's not that big. And then if you open it up, it should look like this with these app files and the titles. That's what we want. But that's basically it on the computer, so I'll meet you over on the Wii U and we'll get it installed. So once you're over on your Wii U, make sure you're running your custom firmware. I'm using Tiramisu with Auto Boot, and then go ahead and go into your homebrew launcher. And then once your apps load up, go and find WUP Installer GX2 and load it up. Now this can only be done on the Wii U gamepad, so I'll meet you on there. So as you can see, we have Nespli right there, so just click on it, press install, Click yes, and then you can install it to your NAND or your USB drive. Your NAND is just your internal memory, and this is pretty small, so I'm just gonna do it on my NAND, but you can do it on your USB drive if you have one set up for that. So click on whatever you choose. And then we're installing. So yeah, pretty quick, nice and tiny install was successful just press ok and then I'll meet you back on the Wii U menu and we'll see our new channel and if it all works successfully we should see Nuspli right here there we go so it shows up that's awesome and now you don't even have to go to the homebrew launcher to open it up so let's test it out and see if it works and there we go so it for sure works but anyways, that's it for the tutorial. If you ran into any issues, you can comment below and I'll try to get back to you. Or you can join my Discord and I should be able to help you out quicker through there. And if you could, uh, giving the video a like is very helpful to me and I would appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more Wii U and Wii tutorials in the future, just go ahead and subscribe and keep an eye out for that in the future. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.